Guys, that's how you know you're in the right spot. Have a go at that. Tuna galore. <laughs> oh! Oh, shot him! Yeah. Double hook up! Yes! Yeah. Wow! Woo! G'day guys and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Joined by everyone's favourite co-pilot, Sean the yellow belly whale. <laughs> the yellow fin whale today mate, don't worry about that. Well, that is the surprise we have installed. We are out in about 1,500 metres of water. We've got a spread of lures out and we're chasing yellow fin. Now, if I could cast all your minds back to about this time last year, we had two epic days in a row. We got three big, big yellowfin and a heap of small ones. I'll tell you what, it was a day that we'll remember forever, but we're out to better that today. We're going for a bigger size and, um, well, we're actually, we'll actually we'll take anything. We'll it's take a, some calm weather too, I reckon. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting bobbed around a bit. The uh, weather is meant to get a little bit better this Sarvo, but look, we're going to cover some Ks, hopefully come across some fish and uh, show you guys some cool action. Anything to add? Uh, now we wait. And now we wait. We currently have a spread of four out. We've got a, a X-Wrap on this one. We've got a big skirt in close on this one. Oh. Keep her straight, Sammy. Keep her straight. We've got a Pro Fiji big soft plastic blue water bait way out the back on that one. And then we've got another skirt on that one. There's a few dolphin fish and uh, blue marlin around as well apparently. So we've got all the bases covered. We just need to run over some fish. We're just looking at a bird and there's fish busting up under it. We're in the zone. Good sign. That was, that was, oh. Oh, you see that? Yes! That was huge! Is that a mother? No, that was a fin. Oh, yeah. Really big. Oh, there it is! Here they are! I've got another one on. Well, we might be on here. We're about to tow Lewis right through this. That was big! Well, this is what you want to see. 2,000 metres of water. We found a big patch of birds. Every now and again, those birds are diving, so they're playing around, which is awesome. Hopefully, they got some uh, big yellow finned friends with them. Come on! Oh, big foam ball! We've got a double hook up on the stick baits now, guys! Yes, Shorto! Yeah! First cast. First cast. Sorry, guys. That's a good, that's a good fish, huh? We're not set up, but we're on. I'm doing rounds. There's yours. Oh, that's there. That's a good one. Hello. We're back. Oh, that's a good one. If you can. Oh, what's no. the line? What's the line? What's the line? Which way is it? Other way. Oh, this is madness. Right, I'm gonna, gonna gaff your fish. I can gaff it. Just chuck sure. the gap behind me. Yeah. It's all going on here, guys. Oh, 
Holy crap! Yellow feet on a stick bite! You! You! Go, Shorto. I can see it. You can see it. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, there's another one. This one. Look at the free flew on. Oh. Have another cast, you reckon? The marlin. What? I think that's a marlin. That's why mine just got very cranky. Are you sure you don't have a marlin? I don't know, I saw the marlin come when I saw the fish and... <laughs> ah. Wow! Woo! That's a little... Don't, don't pop him. <sighs> oh, far out. You're getting low. Right, I'm going. Oh. Still going? Yeah. Sean O's getting empty. Oh, I'm all the way down too. Marlins scared the shit out of him, I think, and chased him. Can you blame him? This is absolute pandemonium. Tell you what, Sean, I'm pretty excited. I've got my tuna here, I'm just about to kill him. Right. Right. Make sure Sean O's in the right spot, he just got absolutely empty. Hey, look at his oh, final lap. I've got 100 metres back. That's the thing. Because a marlin came up, I had my tuna near the boat, and a marlin came in and I oh, tried to eat it, but my tuna got this fright and just went 200 metres down deep. Insane. Before this goes off the screen, have a go at that, that's all tuna. We're in 2,000 metres of water and that's all tuna. They're all around those birds, all tuna. And I'll tell you what, mate, two years ago. First cast on the sticky bikers. That was a double double hookup. Oh, not the double double hookup. Just a double. Just, just a, a, just just a, a traditional double, double, mate. Now, I guess the question on everyone's lips here is, will you let me comfort lift this one? <laughs> get the gaff. Not even the net. Get the gaff. Get the gaff. And by gaff, he means this bad boy here. Control with the right hand. Comfort lift with the left. I've got it in me this time. I feel like I had the practice on the yellow belly. Yeah. Look, my technique needed work. But I'm ready now. Well, it's, it's not very rare yet. Why are you getting spooled on an 18,000? <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry, guys. That all happened so quickly. There's no lead into it. Just uh, we saw some birds and we had a tangle on our trolling gear. We um, did a sharp turn to follow the birds. And we got that in. And we're like, oh, we're marking them on the sounder. So I got my stick bait, fired it out there. I reckon I swept it three times. Hook up. Sure, no grab his, come running up, cast, first cast, sweep, sweep, bang, hook up, and that's when I started filming. So, look, we didn't get a heap of footage from the start, but don't let that undermine what's just happening here. <laughs> and we can still see birds off in the back. Oh, look at the birds. There's birds everywhere. This is exciting stuff, guys. Super exciting stuff. We're getting close, Sammy. Hey. We're getting close. There he is. Oh, right, is he? No, he's been he? been smoked. Oh no! There's the shark. No! That wasn't a marlin, that was a shark that chased him, eh? Hey? That's a big shark too, that was good. I thought that I thought yeah it is an oceanic. Oh no! What a shame! Throw the tail in the water. I'm having another shark that's knocked off Shorno's tuna. That's not a small shark either. Well, I called that for a marlin. I saw the... Yeah, I saw the peck bit. I was like, oh, he's followed by a marlin. What an absolute shame. I'll still get a photo of that though. Still get a photo. There's still plenty of meat on it's it too. There's still, still all the tuna on the tuna. Oh. Truth. What a shame, guys. That's still pretty cool, though. 
you one and a half from two. You can tell mine was a slightly bigger tuna as well. You can't tell at all. You can. Well, how long is it? Real long. Just not, not very long. Well, there you go, guys. First cast. Yellowfin on the board. Unlucky sean has got sharked as well. That really sucks, but there's fish everywhere. We're going to bleed this one, do the right thing by it, get on ice, and, uh, yeah, back into them, I think. This is good fun now. Worth the drive. Woo! That's, that's, like, that's, that's like 10 or 15 kilos a head. That is unlucky. Super unlucky. On the sticky. And you've been short changed. Your tax return, mate. I know. I oh, know. You're paying too much. I oh, know. Paying way too much. That's wild, eh? I can barely lift that. That's a, that's a real one. A real half one. Guys, that's how you know you're in the right spot. Have a go at that. Tuna galore. Woo! Oh! Oh, stop, stop! They're just here! Oh, look, they're busting up everywhere. Oh, that's in the zone, Sean. -o. I think we should be just about drift right into them bloody money. Oh. Oh, there's one. Where? Oh, yep. Yeah. Got him. Oh. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, there's mine. Look at that! Oh no, I'm off! No! Pulled the hooks! This is a nice insane to interaction that's seen off the coast. Oh, it's epic! It's crazy! Crazy! There he is. Come on, mate. Give us a look at you. Looks like it needs it. I think we'll. Let's get him. Yep. Yo yo. Good, good, good gas up too, mate. Might clear a bit of room real quick. He's absolutely scoffed that sticky. <laughs> Jump the airborne to get it. How cool was that? Oh. oh, that's another cracker. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Mate. I've had, I've had oh, three casts with a stick bait, two tuna, one and a half tuna. Far out, that's cool. He's went airborne. I hope I got something that, some of that on camera because that was. He, at first, there was a huge explosion, and then he just, I kept switching it. He just went airborne onto it tight. Yeah, and we tuned it all around us too. And we're the only boat out here. The weather sucked so bad this morning. This is just one of those do the miles, get the smile sort of ordeals. Look, it's been a mission, but we found them, and it is awesome fun. Oh, 
What's that? Oh, that is. is that? Oh, that's Mr. Shark. Is it? Just here. Oh, mate, Sharky Boy's back. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's it. There's there is water. fish, there's sharks, it's all happening here. That's what you look for. The pub in the desert. You'll find them. Woo! Let's get a look at this one, eh? Yeah. Now, to make sure these fish are in top quality eating condition, we've been uh, not only bleeding them, but we've taken the gills and guts out straight away as well. And that's what Sean is going to show us how to do right now. So all he's doing is, well, he's trying, first thing he's doing is trying not to get, um, trying not to get washed off the back. So he's cut the gills and now he's just going to make a cut up from the, pretty well the bum back, through the gills. We've got a oceanic whaler out the back of the boat. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We're about to get a good look. So he's just, what he's doing there is just cutting, there's a bit of skin that holds the top of the gills. And then he might be able to pull it all out in one go. You get it all right. It's a bit hard when you're hanging off the back of a boat and watching a shark. But uh, here's, there he comes. Here's Sean's mate. <laughs> Look at that. I don't want to fall in. No, he's pretty keen. Here he comes. Oh, mm, off the he's top. On it. He's on it. Off the top. <laughs> Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Look at him. I think they've actually killed more people than any other shark. The oceanic white tips. Yeah, and you think World War II for that when there's a lot of shipwrecks. I was tuna busting up to see it as well. Oh, it's handy. Just there. So this tuna now has gut skills removed. Uh, flushed all the blood out. Pretty well doesn't get too much better than that. That's the heart. Look at the size of the heart. Aren't you meant to take a bite out of that? Tastes like success to me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Here's a button. And then from here, we put him straight on the ice. Oh, they're not huge fish, so. Oh. Birds, 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 tuna birds, tuna birds. Oh, tuna. Oh, there they are. There we are. They're just there. Oh, they're busting all around. They're busting all around. There he is. Got him. It doesn't get too much better than that. Shauno, if you can get a cast in, they're just off the front here. Oh no, I'm off. Shauno's on, on the pop. On the pop, ah. Oh, he's angry. He's not stoked about it. The rooster, mate. The big rooster. Got a visual on him, Shauno? Yeah, just get to see colour now. I can see colour, it's red. It's your face. Yeah. yeah, there's a little bit of red going on. Yeah, it's a yellow fin, mate. Another yellow. Another yellow. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a good one. I reckon he might be a third and final. Still a good fish on the pop. Nice fish on the pop. What are you, what, oh, it's me. Hello. Yeah, I'm more important, obviously, but check this out. On the pop, I don't know how many, how many have we hooked to stuff oh. now. Oh, no, it's been a lot. But this is the last one we're going to keep. I'm going to take those hooks out if you like. Yeah, we'll grab the hooks out, then we'll bleed him. And, uh...
So we've got one, one in here, and then we've got the other two in here, loaded up with ice. Mate, we've got a few fillets. I know. I love tuna too, man. All right, the next ones we just catch for release. What a day. What a day. And to top it all off, the weather's getting better and better, but we've got plenty of food now. That's three tuna between the two of us. That's plenty of meat for family and friends. We're just gonna do some catch and release fishing now. Good thing about casting lures like these stick baits is you can pretty well unhook them at the side of the boat. They don't get really any damage, a little hole in the side of the mouth, that's it. So uh, we're gonna have some fun because this is once in a lifetime fishing. I probably said that last time we caught tuna off the Gold Coast, but I'll tell you what, it does not get any better. Woo! Well guys, the birds have kind of buggered off on us, so we've got the spread back out. We're going to see if we can't uh, locate them again and, and keep casting. We drifted about 5k, so the current is absolutely roaring. We drifted about 5k while we were uh, catching and dealing with those fish. So uh, lures back out, start the search again. I'm actually really excited about being on the trial because we won't be able to get past some of the smaller fish find a big one just in nowhere well guys you haven't missed much it's been a quiet probably hour or two but we've just got birds in front of us there's fish chopping and uh look we got the spread out so it'd be really nice to to convert one on the troll if we have to we will stop and cast but look the gear's out would be due one on the troll, I reckon. Yeah, it'd be nice. That was a bit, bit cansy. Oh, fish on. Woo! Hey? Yeah. I don't know. Either way, guys, trolling's just. We got a hook up. Not sure what this is gonna be. Woo. Feels tunery. A little bit. Might be a big stripe, you know. Yeah, they do go hard. As stripey as they come. He's pretty fat too. He's super fat. He's old. Look, look at his little tail. <laughs> no. He's got nothing. He's all guts. That reminds me a bit of me. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Little striped tuna. They're actually meant to be pretty decent eating. Never personally tried one, um, but I'm hoping the tail. I think the same thing. Well guys, just goes to show you have to be Johnny on the spot with these fish because we uh, didn't see any more action for the rest of the day. We had an hour and a half of madness and then nada. Yeah. I, look, to be honest, I think we could have kept catching them if we stayed with those birds. But True. we had ideas of granted show. We had to go and try and find some big fish. Didn't pay off for us in this particular instance, but I'll yeah. tell you what, how fun. We still had fun. So we're going to do a quick, quick tackle talk. We've got uh, we've got case and fish to, case to cover and fish to fill it. Um, this is my stick baiting outfit. This is a bone ocean thug stick bait rod. We've got 80 pound, uh, that's Shimano Oshia. We've got 130 pound leader. And this guy here that got some nibbles is a strategic angler Nautilus. This is a fast sink. Nice bait fish profile, kind of got a big um, flying fish wing on it, nice and flashy, and turns out yellowfin love it as well. Sean O. Gets the job done. I've got much the same sort of setup. Um, it's an 18,000 reel, 80 pound line. Well, it's about the same. I'm going to call it about the same, probably at 150, did you say? Oh, no, I said 130, I reckon. Oh, I reckon mine's about 150. Um, Orion stick bait. Now, this is a little weapon of a thing. You can see how many nicks that's got. Well, Nick's in a Greek restaurant, isn't it, mate? Oh, no, no. <laughs> can't say that. But look, that's um, been smashed. I think today, to be honest with you, anything gets more fun. They would have eaten anything. Um, also, 
decided that just catching my stick baits wasn't good enough. Well, I had to go on a Halco rooster popper. Um, that got a bite too. Got a nice fish on that one. Indeed. So um, look, I don't want to say I'm the most successful angler on the boat, but I guess even with two and a half, that's a pretty good run. That is a pretty good run. Well, I got one. Pulled the hooks at a boat and I don't know, yeah, I pulled the hooks way out a, on the other one. We had another one that was waiting at the side of the boat for me to gaff it, but I didn't do that. That's so. all right, that's all right. <laughs> we got plenty of fish for feed, so I'm stoked. Um, I don't think, that's it's pretty simple stuff. We didn't get anything on the troll apart from that striped trainer, so we're not going to go through trolling gear. Uh, if you are interested in that, mm. um, maybe check out our video we did last year. Uh, for anyone interested, that is with three trips, three yellow, no, Three trips, we've caught yellowfin in a row. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty so. good hit rate with yellowfin. I used to um, hit and miss on them a fair bit. I've got to say, I've been getting a little bit luckier. Read those SST charts, the rip charts. No, that's no the just key. one S, and it's Sam, and I'm the lucky oh, charm. Oh, here we go. You just toys. need me, that's all you need. But yeah, if you check out the sea surface temp charts, um, yep. altimetry, chlorophyll, all that sort temp of stuff. Look for temp breaks. Ideally, when it's kicking back in, is what you want. Um, anyway, we found the fish. We found the fish. Smiles all around. And I'll catch you back at home for a big fill it up, I reckon. It's gonna be sashimi all around. Tuna steaks, doesn't get any better. Does not, mate, it does not. Well, ladies and gents, it is time for the fun part. Uh, time to whack a few fillets off these guys and uh, probably hit the kitchen. There's gonna be some sashimi going on. There's gonna be some tuna steaks, all sorts of fun stuff is gonna be going down with these guys. Now, I kept two, Sean I kept one. I've got a heap of family members who are bang on keen for a feed of fish, so what better way to uh, dish out the love than with a fresh hunk of yellowfin tuna. Now, I chucked these guys on the scales, they're just shy of 20 kilos each, uh, gilled and gutted, so you're probably looking about that 23, 24 kilo mark uh, all in one piece, so pretty good for your local. 20 plus kilo yellowfin tuna on stick baits. It does not get too much better than that. But the fun part is gonna be filleting these guys. I don't get to fillet fish this big that often. So I'm gonna chuck the camera up. Oh, my arm. So I'm gonna chuck the camera up and you guys can watch it in fast forward because it might take me a little while. I've got the other ones still on ice. You don't want them to heat up at all. Uh, keep them as cold as possible. As you take a side off and process that, get it into the fridge. You don't want it heating up. It's too good to waste. But let's start cutting. Big fish require big knives. Now that's a knife. Let's go. Well, guys, this is going to be fun. These things are round. Um, yeah, going to give it a red hot nudge regardless. Also, apologies for my grass. It's getting pretty long. As you can probably guess, so I don't mow that often. Uh, it's one of those things. Mow or go fishing. Guess which one won? Fishing. Anyways, let's have a crack. Might try a new technique, which I haven't tried before, and that's taking the back strap. So you put a cut down here, and then deal with that section, and then do the bottom section. I've seen them do that on the internet, so it looks pretty good. I reckon just follow that lateral line down and hope for the best. We've got two to try it out on, so hopefully it works first time. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Also, this is really sharp. That helps. See where I just missed the uh, the middle. I probably wanted to go right there, but pretty good result so far. I'm going to leave that other side on while I deal with this, so it stays nice and cold and doesn't get affected by the air. Then I'm going to come back and pick this skeleton clean and get all these little bits of meat off here that I've missed. Perfect for sashimi. Look at that! Beautiful. Belly flap, prime, prime sashimi. 
uh, in Japan and stuff, the belly flap is regarded as one of the best cuts of meat for sashimi. So I'm going to leave that whole um, and I'll skin it and trim it up later. But all you need to do is just take that gut lining off and the skin. Absolutely beautiful. There you go, that's one side taken care of. Now I've still got to trim this frame up and I'm also going to attack the head in here and see if I can get some more meat out of that. But um, yeah, it's a pretty long and arduous process but definitely worth the effort. I might save you guys the hassle of watching all this and we'll uh, all touch base when I finish it all. But that is one side. That's beautiful, beautiful yellowfin meat. And that's going to make a lot of families happy. I uh, can't wait to share it around and see what people cook up. Righto guys, so this is one of the advantages of having a chef for a next door neighbour. Chef Julian, he has said, he saw me on the filling table and, he, and I was like, Julian mate, I'm going to flick you some tuna, I've got plenty here. I like to share it amongst family and friends and he said, no worries, come down Friday night for a tuna degustation and I'll tell you what, great move, great move because check this out. First course, what are we looking at here? So i got two ways of um, preparing the tuna. Um, this one's just the classic sashimi. I just, I'm not like an expert at it, but I just sliced it fairly thinly. I toasted the nori, that's like the seaweed that you get to make sushi. Toasted the sheets, that's them. And then I blitzed them up really fine to a powder. So that's sort of like a seasoning. And then I left some of the sheets in big chunks so you can sort of stick that to it and eat it together. Something salty with the fish. I call it a buri tuna. And you kindly provided me with the, uh, the belly which is much fattier. So I've smoked it with a bit of jasmine tea and then I've sliced it up and I've burnt it with the blowtorch on top as well. That's the aburi part of it, blowtorch in it. And that's just course one. It's <laughs> gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a real good night. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, course number two is upon us. Chef Julian, take the floor. What are we looking at? Uh, look, it's pretty much just a, a tuna tartare with a, a bit of a sort of a Japanese spin. So I've got diced up raw tuna. Uh, a bit of sesame dressing using like sesame oil and sugar and salt and um, around the outside I've got some pureed avocado with a bit of wasabi and on top I've got crispy garlic and then crispy potato chips a bit of extra salt classic <laughs> that's all you need to know ladies and gentlemen welcome to the main course of the night Julian take the floor mate I've gone pretty uh, low key on this one, Sammy. I've just got um, some seared tuna, still pretty rare in the middle. And then I've just marinated the cucumber and a bit of the um, classic store bought sushi vinegar, basically sushi seasoning. Same stuff that I used to season the sushi rice. And then a little bit more of that um, sesame uh, seaweed powder on top. There's a few rums coming through there. <laughs> Look, there's, there's been a little, a bit of, little, little rum cocktail or two making an appearance, and I'll tell you what, each course is knocking it out of the park further and further. So I'm looking forward to this one. I brought up the idea of maybe a little tuna sorbet for dessert, but um, look to be confirmed. To, to yeah, be, to, to be, be decided. We'll see, we'll see. But it's tuna. Get into it, guys. Get into it. This is going to be awesome too. Tune into it. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode because I don't think we're going to be able to top that one for a little while. I'll tell you what, I've said it a few times this video, but it really doesn't get much better than that for a local fish. Uh, that is pretty well my idea of a perfect day. Big yellowfin on stick baits. Can't go wrong. Now, a couple of shout outs. The first one goes to Shorno. Now, a little bit of behind the scenes here. Sean I spent the whole day before analyzing sea surface temp charts and looking at all this range of information to pinpoint where we wanted to go that day. And those fish that we caught on stick baits were within 500 meters of where Sean O wanted to fish. That's a pretty good achievement, especially when you're 80 k's offshore. There's a lot of water out there and to be able to find an area that you think there's gonna be fish and you get there and there is fish there, well that's pretty good going. For a four wheel driver, he makes a pretty handy fish and the second shout out goes to my neighbour, Chef Julian. That tuna cook up was absolutely exceptional. Probably had a few too many rums, but I'll tell you what, the food was first class. Now guys, a quick reminder, all my merch is back in stock. Yes, we've got 
some cool bottle openers in a few different colors. We've got some wicked key rings and all the hats are back in stock. We've got the big hookup, we've got the OG, and we've got the big knobby. So guys, if you did want to support the channel, head over to my website, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com and grab yourself some merch. That is all we've got time for, unfortunately, but if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you share it on Instagram and Facebook and tag me, and I'll repost all your, uh, all your shares. Any sharing would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you'd like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Guys, I'll catch you next week for another Sam Hitsky fishing adventure. Hope you're all well, hope you're all safe, and I hope you're getting stuck into a few fish. See you guys, have a good one.